hatch settings. We can go ahead and change the hatch settings two different ways. Let's go ahead and start the hatch command. And once we do so, we see we get this hatch creation editor. And many of your settings that you would like to change for your hatch can all be found here. But maybe you like more of a dialog box style. You can go ahead and do that by selecting this icon here in the options panel. And we get many of the same options. We have the hatch and the gradient. In hatch, we can go ahead and select the type and the pattern, the angle. We can change the hatch origin, as well as adjust how we are choosing the boundaries and various other options here, such as the draw order, the layer, and the transparency. Under gradient, we get very similar options on the right hand side, as well as choosing one to two colors, setting the orientation, and choosing a style of the gradient itself. This way isn't very useful. So it's useful to use the ribbon here because you can more accurately adjust things and see them as they actually happen. So if I choose this hatch here, if I provide the hatch and I decide to go to the settings and start adjusting and changing things, I can't see the window behind and get an accurate preview. So if you change the settings here, you see it updates on the fly. 